Well, hello, Atchison. I am so excited that you are here. We are finally back with the Atchison Chat News, and I have a brand new co-host. You know, we, I had to take a few months off because I wasn't feeling well, and when we geared back up, we decided to reformat the show, and I am so excited because I now have Eric Royer, who is going to be helping me bring you the news month after month. We'll be bringing you the news the first of the month, and like I said, Eric is going to be with us, and I couldn't be more thrilled. Eric, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. I tell you what, I am excited to be here. I am excited to be able to help Atchison and be able to, just to let people know what's going on locally because there is so much stuff that Atchison offers, and if we can get out there and let people know what's going on, that's even better. So I'm excited to be a part of this. I really yes, am. Yes, and I am so thrilled that you, you agreed to co-host the show with I'm us. Honored to be asked. So thank you. I appreciate that it. That is exciting. So we are going to be talking about all sorts of stuff today. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. will be talking about, let's see, um, events that are going on, some a little bit of news stuff mm -hmm. that's happening yeah. in the community, some exciting things that are coming yes. to Atchison. And I know you are a history buff, mm -hmm. right? Yes, so very much so. Later, Eric is going to also be talking a little bit about some history stuff yes. that he knows. So if you will stay tuned, we'll be back in just a moment. All right, well, we are back, and Eric and I have some great things to talk to you about today. Eric, mm -hmm. I saw something really interesting that um, is coming to Atchison, and that is bird scooters. I saw that. Yes. I'm excited for yes. it. Yes, I'm sort of excited about it also. Mm -hmm. I, you know, there's been some controversial opinions, I guess, on these sure. bird scooters. Some people are excited for them. Some people think that it's, you know, not necessary. Sure. I don't know what your thoughts on on them but I will tell you about my thoughts sure and please do kind of kind of go from there so when I lived overseas mm -hmm. um, where we lived they had these scooters everywhere mm -hmm. and I know a lot of bigger cities have these scooters mm -hmm. whether or not these are going to do well here in Atchison that remains to be seen but this is just going to be a test for the next year they're going to yes. bring these scooters in and kind of see how they do here in Atchison sure my thought on that is even if for some reason you know, maybe our town's too small for them. Maybe mm -hmm. they're not going to do great here. Don't mm -hmm. know. What a wonderful way for people to practice using them. Mm -hmm. Because I know for myself, the first time I was exposed to them, I didn't know how to check them out. Right. I didn't know how to use them mm -hmm. or anything. So mm -hmm. not everybody who is here in Atchison, particularly our college students, right. stays here. And Very people true. do travel. Oh, yes. I love to travel. Yes. I know a lot of people like to travel. Mm -hmm. So what a great opportunity we are giving the community by having these scooters here for them to learn how to use them. Yes. Well, and I look at it as a plus. Um, <clears throat> a few years ago, the chamber added the ability to rent bikes. Mm -hmm. And so with doing that, I feel like it, it did really well. It had a little bit of people a little, a little worried about, you know, what are we going to do with this? You know, they might go missing or something. But honestly, it's gone incredibly well. And so it's one of those things that you won't yeah. really know until you try it. Um, I know in, in exactly. bigger cities they, they do have a tendency to have a little more success with them, but mm -hmm. it's one of those things that w as long as we're trying, you know, uh, you don't know unless you try. And That's so it's one of those things exactly that you're going right. to learn about, oh, hey, you know, maybe, maybe we can come up with a better idea. One mm -hmm. of the best parts about um, our local government is they're not afraid to try something and say, okay, maybe this, maybe this wasn't for us we move to something else and that's a huge positive to be that willing is, to try yes. because if you're Just, not willing to try you know you never know what you, you don't know what out. might succeed correct, exactly correct so, so I, I kind of look step. forward as an opportunity to maybe learn something a little bit more about and, and maybe when you ride the scooters you get to see the front of the new buildings down on main or the new the renovated fronts and get to see wow that's that's beautiful so yes. it's, a, it's a good opportunity and if you're like me when i'm driving down there i'm just looking for my destination yes so it's, it'll mm -hmm. be kind of fun i'm i'm excited oh, about them mm -hmm. we'll see how they go and we'll i'm going to definitely check it out when the weather is a little bit nicer yes yes but i think you were telling me something about a new bridge that yes. we're going to be working uh, on yes casey quinn broke the news a couple three weeks ago about the uh a new replacement of an underpass on 59 and 262nd Road. Now, that may not mean a whole lot, but I drive in from out of town every day, and I drive over that every single day. I drive over that twice a day. And so having that replaced is going to be a great opportunity for us to get some infrastructure renewal and maybe hopefully make it a little easier for, I know there's a lot of uh, farmland out there, a lot of farmers oh, for use nice. to have better access. So I think it's going to be a great opportunity, and I really appreciate her 
and Dr. Epley working very hard to make sure that we got that uh, Atchison gets Im improved infrastructure. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anytime there's an improvement going on, it's mm -hmm. a good thing. Oh yes. That that is a positive thing for our mm -hmm. community. So yes. I'm happy to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Do Do you know when they're going to be starting construction? Or uh, I have not heard a date yet. I okay. know that as far as what she was sharing is that it's kind of uh, coordinating between Modot and Atchison County. Okay. Um, you know, because there's going to be obviously diversion of traffic and oh, all that right, fun stuff. Right. But I mean, yeah. it's you know, it's one of those things. Um, they have Short term to do... inconvenience yeah. for long term benefit. Yes, correct, correct. Uh, Remember how the uh, the Mocan Bridge was? My goodness, it was seemed like it took forever, but what a what a great convenience. So yeah. it's just one of those things. Oh, I'm excited. That's for. exciting. Yes, yes. So something interesting is mm -hmm. going on that people forget about, Eric, and that is the farmers market. So the farmers market is still going on, even mm -hmm. though it's not outside because it's too cold. Right. I'm not going to go to the farmers market when it's below zero. No, I'm just no, not doing not. it. <laughs> but they are still doing it the second Saturday mm -hmm. of every month through April um, at the old depot. So you can go in. It's from let's see, from ten to noon. Mm -hmm. So just a couple of hours, second Saturday of the month, and you can go in and, and get some stuff. And you said mm -hmm. something about honey. local honey. Um, there's yeah. a lot of local honey there, and one of the best parts about local honey, and you probably know this, but it is a great uh, antihistamine uh, for if you suffer from allergies, and it's a wonderful addition to hot tea in the wintertime. So oh, it's one yeah. of those things It's just the farmer's market has so much great stuff to offer and a lot of local produce. Um, I have some, I know some people that definitely sell local jams and jellies down there, and it's it's wonderful, and it's a great it's a great way to support local people Absolutely. doing, mm -hmm. pre purveying local products. I learned something interesting last summer when mm -hmm. the farmer's market was going on, mm -hmm. and that is that unless your ingredients are grown locally, mm -hmm. that you can't be a part of the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. So I love that it's locally sourced, everything mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. whether that's your backyard or an actual farmer or sure. whoever it is. So that's pretty cool. Yes. Pretty neat. All right. Um, well, we know that this is February, mm -hmm. and with February comes what? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Day. Men, That's don't right. forget. Yes, do not forget. <laughs> <laughs> if you forget, you might have some very upset girlfriends and wives out yes, there. Yes. Yes. But no, Valentine's Day is coming up, and the high school is going to be doing um, candy grams. Oh, wonderful! So that is the the National Honor Society. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Selling candy grams, I think she said they were going to be a dollar or two dollars, depending on which ones they got. Mm -hmm. And they could order those starting February 1st through February 10th. Okay. And then they would be delivered on the 14th. So, Wonderful. isn't that cool? Yes, that's, that's a very neat idea. I remember they did that when I was in high school, mm -hmm. too. Did they do that when you were younger? Yes, they did. Um, it wasn't, I was homeschooled, so it was a little bit different with us, but I remember always hearing about uh, the different yeah, things. Yeah, the, the candy grams. Mm -hmm. and, yes, So, just yes. kind of a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. And is. I like that they keep it affordable so everybody can yes. participate oh, that yes. once, too. And it's something, cool. it's, you know... Couple bucks and it really touches somebody. Yeah, and maybe makes yeah. her day a little better. It I don't does. Know for I think so. Yeah, well, that's kind of neat. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. Oh, the 14th through the 17th, or 14th Street through 17th Street, mm -hmm. they are doing. Uh, it's going to be the curb revitalization. And if you've noticed, if you've noticed in town the last few years, uh, there's been a lot of curb revitalization, and it's part of an infrastructure. But you don't really notice until they get replaced and you realize, wow, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. So the next phase begins uh, within the next few months as the weather permits. Uh, it's going to go from 14th Street, which is basically right by uh, across from MGP, all the way up to 17th Street, which is in front of Casey's. And so it'll be able to uh, just a little bit longer to walk, bike, you know, all kinds of good, great things. And, you know, really it's... It's quality of life. It's going to allow hey, us to be... Another place to ride those scooters? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it will. <laughs> another place to use the scooters? Go up to, sco go up to Casey's and uh, Murphy's and all, everything up mm -hmm. there. It'd be wonderful. Yeah, grab a scooter, go yeah. up there. It just totally negate all of that exercise you just got by grabbing <laughs> a, you know, a 32-ounce soda pop. Sure. <laughs> or a bottle of water. There you well, go. Yeah, a bottle of water. Get your water. <laughs> but uh, no, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I know a couple years ago they, when they started doing this project... Mm -hmm. um, not too far from me, some of the sidewalks got replaced, and it was like night and day. Mm -hmm. And just like you said, I don't think we realized how bad it was until right. it got done. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and it takes time. It does. You know, I know there's a lot of people who are saying, "Well, I wish they'd get the front of my house," or "I wish." Sure. But my goodness, there's a there are a lot of places to get. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you just have to be patient, and eventually those things will be replaced too. Right. And when we when you have a town as old as ours, let's be honest, you know, Atchison exactly. is 
one of the older, uh, not oldest town, but one of the older towns in Kansas, we do mm-hmm. have infrastructure that is older, and so it takes a little while to replace. Yes. But it's one of those it things, does. if you're a little bit patient, you're going to really see a huge difference in your availability to walk places. Um, I was reading an article five or six years ago and it said, the quality of health in a town really reflects its sidewalks. And so oh. you'd think of it as, you know, huge for the community yeah. to be able to get out and walk and enjoy and get to know your neighbors a little and better. And it's safer. Yes. It's a lot, a lot safer. safer. Mm-hmm. You don't want people walking in the streets. And that's what mm-hmm. happens. And, and, you know, I know yeah. that the, the city and the county, they know all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're one step at a time. Yes. You just have yes. to do it one step mm-hmm. at a time. So. Very good. Well, we have some more stuff to talk about. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do that as soon as we come back after this. And welcome back. Uh, we are talking about something interesting I heard the other day. I was just mentioning this to Miss Laura, but um, the crime rate in town is actually dropping. And the solved cases uh, rate is going up. Wow. So when other parts of the nation maybe are seeing a little bit of an increase, we're seeing a decrease with our uh, police department uh, working extra hard to keep us safe. And so I think that's something that they should be commended for. And if you see them, Give them a thank so you. The, the crime rate, if you look at the reports, are going down. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yes. Interesting. And the solved crime uh, rate is going up. So if a if a crime I, does, I've get always committed, wondered this. Maybe you know the answer to it. Mm-hmm. How do they determine that crime is going down? Is that because it's not being reported, or is it actually just not happening? To my understanding, is what I've read is that there's several variants to it, but it has to do with there's a certain amount of crime that has gone that gets reported. Okay. And so they use those variants to say, okay, well, if you know there's certain percent is being reported, then this this other percentage maybe doesn't go reported or doesn't necessarily go noticed. Or doesn't like exist. Correct. Correct. Okay. So um, I know with the advent of cell phones, uh, kind of something interesting, yeah. the, over the last few years, what would have been a lot more uh, crimes that we would need to call for help for, you are able to get your cell phone out and maybe get work or get uh, emergency workers there a little sooner. So that's something that's Instead kind of Instead of running to get help mm-hmm. somewhere. Correct, right, right. Yeah. correct. Huh. Fascinating. So. Well, and I would imagine people taking pictures, too, of the crime mm-hmm. that's happening yes. around them. Yes, yes. You know, it's a bit of a deterrent. Mm-hmm. It is. If you, it, I, I would think if you had a security camera, for example, mm-hmm. in your front yard, mm-hmm. people are probably not going to break into that house. Correct, And yeah. more and more people are putting up the ring doorbells and mm-hmm. all of the security cameras. So... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And like you said, the police department is working a little bit harder to mm-hmm. solve these, sure. these problems, to solve the problems that are going on. And it's one of those things, it's one good. of the great parts about, too, is when you get to know get to know a little bit your local policemen, they get to know you a little bit better. You can kind of, you know, they keep an eye out for your house, things yeah. like that. And it's about, you know, making a connection with people and getting to know people mm-hmm. a little better. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Well, good. Mm-hmm. So it's positive news. Yes. That's good news yes. for our community. Eric is a history buff, and I am excited that he is going to be here month after month to share tidbits of history. And I was asking him before we decided to roll the cameras today what types of history things he knew about Atchison. And you told me the most fascinating thing about angel food cake, and I wanted Mm -hmm. you to share that with the community. So angel uh, instant angel food cake mix was actually invented right here in Atchison. Um, blows my mind. <laughs> it just blows my mind. They're at uh, Fourth and Commercial or Fourth and uh, Main Street. Is there's a it used to be Tabs, but it's a building that was the Pillsbury Flour Mill um, building. The Pillsbury used to own that. Before that was uh, North Star or uh, the North family owned it. But in that building, the uh, instant or the recipe for instant. Uh, angel food cake mix was actually invented there. And so every time you make an angel food cake and don't have to spend two or three hours doing it, think about Atchison. It's a wonderful opportunity. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Do you like angel food cake? I do. I like angel food cake too, Mm -hmm. but I never ever would have thought about questioned or wondered mm-hmm. who invented angel food cake, who Mm -hmm. came up with that recipe, you know, for the instant, for the instant. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was invented right here. That mm-hmm. recipe was invented right here in mm-hmm. Atchison. We live in a community that is so rich and full of mm-hmm. culture and oh, history. Yes. And it, I'm so glad that you're going to be with us to unlock all of this mm-hmm. stuff for everybody. That and, is, that's exciting to me. And something like to that. just keep in mind for the fall, too. Uh, Atchison has all kinds of tours. So you can learn 
all about these different homes and what was what what happened in these buildings, and you get to know the town just a little bit better. And so it's if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. That's, so it's one of those things that that's helps. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Learn your history. Find mm -hmm. out about it. It's it's pretty exciting. It is. One thing I want to share, I'm excited about in the Atchison chat group. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's yes. Day is coming up. We just ran a photo contest, this, the sandwich photo contest. Mm -hmm. That ended a few days ago, but we are going to do another contest. And this is not going to be a photo contest. Mm -hmm. This is a Valentine's Day contest. So we're calling this What Love Means to You. <laughs> so in 300 words or less, we want you to write what love means to you. And on February 15th, we will choose a winner, and that okay. winner will get a gift certificate, and that will be determined by probably the most likes sure. that are on there. Yeah. In the event of a tie, I'm going to let Eric be the tiebreaker. There we go. <laughs> okay. That. So go ahead and write out what love means to you in the contest. We'll have that posted and ready for you here in the next few hours. But that's pretty exciting. I think that's really all that we have. Is there mm -hmm. anything else you want to say to the community? Uh, I'm just excited to start this journey here. I think it's going to be uh, a huge positive to get to know each and every one of you a little bit better um, and just kind of learn a little bit more about our uh, yeah. our community. So yeah. I'm really excited. We are going to have so much fun. Mm -hmm. This yes. is going to just be a wonderful time for everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go, Eric, I always like to end things with some kind of a joke. All right. That's so I have a good idea. one for you. Okay. All right. What Valentine's message can you find in a honeycomb? I, know, I can't think of anything. What is it? Be mine. <laughs> you like that? Yes, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. Be mine. All right, Atchison. <laughs> Remember, we love you, mm -hmm. and so does Jesus.